Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multimedia timeline through a Google spreadsheet. I made a video about this five years ago, and I think it's time that I updated it. So we're going to use a tool called Timeline.js, which you'll find at timeline.nightlab.com, and just click on Make a Timeline, and then go and make a copy of this spreadsheet template, this Google spreadsheet template. That'll open up this template here. Now, you're going to want to rename it unless you want your timeline to be official copy of official timeline. So, I'm going to make one about presidents of the United States. So, timeline of presidents of the United States. Now, one of the things to note about this template is that you can change anything that you see except for things that are in row one. Don't change anything in row one. Other than that, you're good to go. So let's start here. I'm going to start right across the top here with the year 1789. And the month is going to be April. So four. And the day is going to be the 30th. Now you can see there, I can even put in the time if I want to do the time of day. So you can be pretty granular with this all the way down to the time of day, including hour and minute, right? second even, if you wanted to. Or you could be very general and just put in a year if you want. But I'm going to have this event have an end date, and that's going to be 1797 in March on the fourth day. Now, for our display date, I might put in 1789. And my headline is going to be George Washington. And our text will be as little or as much as we want. In this case, I'll just say Washington was the first president of the United States. Now, in our media, we can include a picture, a video, or even a link to a map if we wanted to. So in this case, I'm gonna use a picture. And the picture that I want to use is this little picture here, this portrait of George Washington from Wikipedia. It's in the public domain, and I'm going to make sure I copy the link that has the .jpg ending. Let's put that into the media field. And now we put in a media credit. Now, this one's in the public domain, so don't necessarily need to. But I'll put it in there anyway. And a little caption called Portrait of Washington. Now, as you scroll over, you'll notice there's more in here we can change the background color around the image. And if you want to play around with background colors, you have to use the hex code. And a great place to find those is to go to htmlcolorcodes.com and you can find any hex code you want for any color you might want to use as your background. Now, in this next one, I'm going to put in John Adams. So I'm going to put in 1797. We're going to put in our month, put in our day, and in this case, I'm going to eliminate the time. Now, John Adams only served one term, so he's out of office in 1801 on March 4th.
And I'll put in the information about John Adams. And in this case, I'm going to put in a video instead of using an image. So I have this video here from YouTube. I'm going to paste that in. There's our video, our caption, or our media credit in this case. Our media credit is from Biography. And we'll just call it a short video about Adams. And again, over on this right hand column, I can change the background color if I'd like. Now, before I publish this, before I leave this, I want to point out a couple of things here. You may have noticed in the blue here, our headline. Well, we want to change this from Google Spreadsheet example to the title of our timeline, which is Timeline of Presidents of the United States. We want to change our text to say something like, Short overview of the presidents of the United States. Again, you can put as much text as you like in there. Let's put in some media. Well, in this case, I'll just put in that picture of George Washington. That'll again be our cover image. Put that into place. I'll use the same media credit here. And I'll use the same media caption. So now my timeline is set up. If I wanted to add more, I can just go in and add more rows as I need them. And just continue that process over and over again. But for now, let's leave it as is. We'll select File. We're going to Publish to the Web. So I've now published this to the web, and I want to make sure I've copied the link for it. So you can see there's the directions right there. So we've copied our link, and we now go back to the timeline.nightlab.com, paste in our spreadsheet link, hit the enter button, And we can scroll down and see our preview of this timeline. And you can see we had some problems with our pictures. So we want to go back and make sure that we've correct those pictures. So let's do this. We'll right click, copy image address. There we go. Now let's publish that again. Make sure we have the link. Let's refresh it. And we'll see how our timeline's doing now. There's our video and our images are working now as well. So that's how you can create a timeline through a Google spreadsheet with the help of Timeline JS available at timeline.nightlab.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.